On December 6, 2022, the last Boeing 747 rolled out of the production line at Boeing's Everett factory. It marked the end of an era for the legendary jumbo jet, a symbol of innovation and luxury in air travel. For more than five decades, the 747 transformed the aviation industry, connecting the world like never before. But could this iconic aircraft make a comeback, perhaps with a modern twist? What if the next generation 747 had just two engines instead of four? To truly appreciate the Boeing 747's impact, we need to go back to where it all began. The late 1960s was a revolutionary time for commercial aviation. Air travel was growing rapidly, but aircraft were still relatively small, leading to high ticket prices. Boeing saw an opportunity to change this by developing a high-capacity aircraft that could transport more passengers at lower costs. This vision led to the creation of the Boeing 747, the world's first wide-body jetliner. The first Boeing 747 took its maiden flight on February 9, 1969. Designed to carry 335 passengers and 20 crew members, it instantly revolutionized air travel. Airlines could now accommodate more passengers per flight, making long-haul travel more affordable. As a result, the 747 quickly became one of the most loved and preferred wide-body jets, competing with aircraft like the Lockheed L-1011 TriStar and the McDonnell Douglas DC-10. Originally, the 747 was powered by four Pratt and Whitney JT 9D turbofan engines, which provided the necessary thrust to carry up to 400 passengers, twice the capacity of the Boeing 707. This made it a game changer for airlines, significantly lowering seat mile costs and allowing them to expand routes across the globe. Over time, Boeing also introduced versions of the 747 with General Electric CF-6 and Rolls-Royce RB211 engines, giving airlines more flexibility in their fleet choices. However, as the aviation industry evolved, the 747 began to face new challenges. One major issue was its size. While the 747's large capacity was an advantage for busy international routes, it also posed logistical challenges. Many airports had to modify their infrastructure to accommodate the aircraft, requiring wider taxiways, stronger runways, and larger gates. This made the 747 less practical for airlines operating in smaller markets or on less crowded routes. The real turning point came with advancements in aircraft efficiency. In 2004, Boeing introduced the 787 Dreamliner, a twin-engine aircraft designed for long-haul flights. Unlike the 747, which required four engines, the 787 could achieve similar range and performance with just two engines, significantly reducing fuel consumption and operating costs. Airbus followed with the A350 in 2006 offering similar efficiency and performance. These next-generation aircraft made the 747 seem outdated. Airlines increasingly favored fuel-efficient twin-engine jets over four-engine giants as they provided greater flexibility and profitability. Over time, fewer airlines placed orders for the 747, leading to a decline in production. Fast forward to July 2020, Boeing officially announced it would cease production of the 747. The COVID-19 pandemic accelerated this decision as airlines rapidly retired their 747 fleets due to high operational costs and decreased demand for air travel. By December 2022, the final Boeing 747 was built, marking the end of an aviation legend. But is this really the end of the 747? While the four-engine design may no longer be practical, could a twin-engine version bring the iconic jumbo jet back to life? With advancements in modern engine technology and aerodynamics, could Boeing reinvent the 747 for the future of air travel? Like, subscribe, and stay tuned with Aviation Archives to explore such questions with us.